r slash ask reddit what is the worst thing you've overheard while pretending to be asleep in college woke up to roommate's bed creaking i shoot up to see what the heck is going on there i see some woman on her back with her legs full spread eagle and my roommate just pile driving it like it was his last day on earth like a good bro i quickly lie back down and pretend to be asleep huh. in between gasps of air is your roommate awake him nor he sleeps through anything cut to next morning point i casually get up and turn on my playstation 2 and start playing some random game roommates fling gets up and casually comes over and sits next to me huh. good morning my name me good morning her name huh. did you sleep good last night me yeah i can sleep through anything as the last word left my mouth i immediately realize i blew it she began a huge flurry of slaps at my roommate while cursing at him. He didn't care because he was too busy laughing the whole time. Something like she's too old for this. I'm not going to carry her up to bed anymore and that was the last time I was magically transported from the living room couch to my bedroom. I was a camp counselor. Two girls very much like to make hot or not lists. One of them suggested a male counselor was hot, and the other said he was saying mean things about me behind my back, which made him not hot. Hurt to hear that from my campers, but glad they supported me. Old roommates planning to kick me out. Did they do it? Yep. My mom having an affair with her fiancé's best friend, who was married, in the same room that I was sleeping in. I was like 10 years old. My family were staying at a friend's house and had to share a room. My dad comes to bed hammered and says to my mum something along the lines of does it impress you that I'm this drunk and can still perform. I actually wanted to die. My mom trying to calm my dad down out of a suicidal fit. My brother and I had been really bad that day and when he grounded us, we both told him that we hated him and wanted him to go away. He didn't do anything wrong. My brother and I were just a couple of immature little pricks. D. I'm pretty sure blackout drunk at this point, which I had never seen and still haven't saw since then, walked into our room that night and I pretended to fall asleep. Then he just started these deep, haunting sobs that I'll probably never forget. He stumbled outside and we could hear him begging my mom to let him die and sobbing all I've ever wanted in my entire life was to be a better dad than mine. I was only 11 or so, but it ducking destroyed my heart. I think that's the time I learned that emotional pain can actually physically hurt. I was hunched over in my bed bawling my eyes out and on the verge of throwing up. I also felt like an asshole for crying over what we said. My brother was thankfully able to sleep through it all. I think about that once every two weeks or so, and I always message him to tell him I love him when I do. I hoped he forgot about it, but being a dad myself now, I don't think it's something you totally forget. It might not hurt like it did in the moment, but I don't think you forget. Like most heartbreaking things I guess. My parents discussing whether or not I was gay and exploring where they went wrong with raising me. Too many hugs. My friends talking about going into my wallet later and steal my money and then leave before I notice, I kick them out before I got divorced, was laying in bed late, 11 a.m. or so, on my day off, after a long string of I think 10 or so work days in a row. My ex, who refused to get a job, was in the next room playing a video game, and I heard him say that mother ducking bee is still sleeping. My sister got drunk, and I heard a loud thud, and she blacked out. Two of her friends and my mom and dad were shouting at each other, and they were saying to shut up cause they didn't want to wake me up, and they were all crying thinking she was dead, and I couldn't tell my sister I was happy she didn't die now I appreciate seeing her every week. Acted asleep while family were talking amongst themselves about getting me married off to this girl who's educated, but 5 years older than me. I was 15. Then she got married and divorced, and absolutely ragged abused. So I actually feel bad about it now. Edit. Duck this blow up. Some backstory. Girl had just graduated, and family wanted her to marry. She agreed and their family made a list of possible sweeters. I was one on that list. We were close. Ash. But I had her almost fully developed beard at that time, so they probably assumed I was older. When it was brought up I outright rejected, because she was a figuratively a big sister to me. Always looking out for me. It was an arranged marriage. 
their family married her off, and they moved abroad. I don't know what the duck was going through their minds. They married her to a 28Y slash O with mental health issues and she'd always get beat up every day because he assumed she was cheating. Then she got pregnant, and he didn't believe it was his, it was. Police got involved in then family, uncles, aunts, it disgusts me to even say that, intervened. It's now been 2 years she's free of that monster, but he's not in jail. So it pains me to this day. I know it's not my fault, but I just have guilt that I maybe could have stopped this. And I apologize for using the term raggle abused, because mostly people wouldn't see her for months on end and she'd always be covered up in sore. I did not use it in a derogatory matter. Comment asking if she's hot. Duck you. Bloody get out more. Another reddit, I got emotional, so I couldn't say this before. If you do see abuse, intervene the best you can. Call the police. Try to be supportive. Whatever you can. Sleeping over at a friend's house when I was 14. All of us on the floor in living room. Couldn't sleep. Two of my friends, guy and girl, directly next to me start doing freaky things to each other. I was extremely shy and a couple of years younger than them, so I stayed quiet and hoped they'd stop. Had to listen to them for an hour while she made weird ass moaning squeaky noises and he was singing in a weird slightly whispery singy voice. Matchbox 20 songs to her while he did whatever he was doing. That was last time I slept over at a friend's house. My mum's boyfriend sloppily trying to duck my mum all drunk as she whilst we are all sharing the same ducking hotel room. I was 13. That just brought back a memory for me too. I can't remember how old I was, somewhere between 10 and 14. Sharing a room on holiday and same thing happened. Was a great holiday until that point. I remember coughing to try and get them to stop but they didn't. When I was around 8 years old I was supposed to be asleep, but I snuck downstairs to get milk or something. I heard talking going on downstairs, so I stood still and listened. My mom was talking to my brother about how much of a problem I was, and how she hated me. She always liked my brother more. I just silently crept back upstairs, and cried myself to sleep. Good times. I wasn't pretending to be asleep so much as they assumed I was asleep. My in-laws thought I was still napping after dropping my kid off at school and they started to she-talk me. They said I was a terrible mom. I didn't care about my kids at all and they better buy a cake because I would rather sleep all day than make him a cake. It was his birthday and my god. It was only 10 a.m. It doesn't take that long to make and frost a cake for him. Anyways, I cried in my room for 2 hours before they left to buy groceries i.e. drink themselves into a stupor before I got up and made the cake and birthday dinner my child asked for. I didn't tell my husband what they said until a week later because I didn't want to ruin his or my child's day. Had a bunk bed in college and one night my girlfriend and I woke up to my room at banging some chick on the top bunk. My girlfriend asked me what we should do, and I just mumbled just go back to sleep, because I figured saying something to them at the moment would make things much more awkward. He still doesn't know. My walls were thin. I could hear almost anything. My parents argued in what they thought was a quiet voice about divorce. Then my dad says you can keep the kid. He annoys the duck out of me. The next week they told me and signed the papers. I was at my BF's apartment staying over, his roommate also happened to have some friends who were dating there as well. I was in my BF's room and they were sleeping in the living room they were definitely ducking. Weirdest thing of it all were these literal banging sounds, like someone was hitting the fucking wall the whole time I had to piss like a mother ducker, but getting to the bathroom involved walking by the living room and I did not wanna risk it. When we woke up the next morning someone had ripped a chunk out of one of the curtains and the TV remote was snapped in half. To this day I don't wanna know what was going on in there. Roommate's boyfriend and his friend came into my room when they thought I was asleep. It was warm and I was sleeping naked with minimal blanket coverage. I froze and pretended to sleep. They proceeded to talk about my body and how it was anyone's type. Also how easily it was to drug ladies these days. Oh and also the friend talked about how easy it would be to steal slash sell my boyfriend's boat motor that he had stored in the room. Yeah so they were kicked out and friend became an ex-friend because she was pissed I'd let my boyfriend kick them out. 
my then boyfriend opening up our bedroom door to show me off to his friends while I was sleeping. It was the middle of summer, so I was lying, but naked on our bed. He thought I was asleep. Huge fight occurred the next morning and we were not dating for long after that event. WTF man. I'm still pissed off about that. You knew I was naked. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.